Science Beetle. Hey, welcome back, students. You know, today, I wanted to show you a, a problem that I received from one of the viewers. And the problem's on the screen. It says, what is the concentration of a solution if the known value uh, for pH is 3.78? And so uh, I'll do this step by step. And so what we'll do here is identify what is provided for us in terms of given. Notice here we are provided a value for pH. Here, this is a given value. The, the question here is, uh, what is the concentration? And so whenever they talk about concentration, in this particular case, since you are provided the pH value, we're going to automatically assume that the first uh, concentration that they want us to figure out is the hydrogen ion concentration. Now, you can obviously find the OH concentration, and, and that can uh, be done. There's uh, other videos on the site that can do that, uh, that shows you how to do that. This video, we're just going to figure out on how to co convert the pH value here into the hydrogen ion concentration. So the main thing that you want to do here is uh, rewrite the stuff that we already have in terms of the givens. And so here, in terms of given, uh, we know that the pH value is equal to 3.78. And we also know, associated with this uh, pH value, we know that the pH equation is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So the reason we picked this equation here is because we are after the concentration. And so this pH equation does actually give us the information that we need in order to solve for that value of the unknown. And so what we want to be able to do then is rewrite or derive the new equation for hydrogen and or for the hydrogen ion. So what we'll do first before anything else is we're going to take the value here of the pH and we're simply going to plug it into the equation. And so when we do that, we get on the left hand side 3.78 equals negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay. So what we want to do now is we need to pay attention to what's on the right hand side. Notice we have a negative log. We want to get rid of that negative log. And so the way we do that is we're going to go ahead and multiply by negative one. Okay. So I'm just going to put here times negative one on this side. And customarily you just put that in parentheses. So negative one on the left as well. When you multiply in, what's going to wind up happening here is you're going to wind up getting this negative one is going to come in and, and attack that uh, negative value. And so what we'll do here is when we do that, we're going to wind up getting here positive log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And this is going to be equal to the negative of the left side, which is negative 3.78. Okay. So pretty good uh, access so far. What we need to do now is turn our attention over to the log. And so we want to get rid of this log. And remember that whenever we talk about logs, this is nothing more than 1 times 10 to some value of x. And so we need to figure out what is this value of x. Well, on the right hand side, this is equal to the x on the right hand side. And if I were to fall, solve this for the left-hand side, the value on the left-hand side would become x. Now, we do have two different x values here, so we're going to apply the following step to both sides. What we're going to do is we're going to raise both sides to that power of x. In other words, we're going to take the log of both sides by using that 1 times 10 to the x formula. And so what we'll do here is let's just denote this kind of what we said before. If this is equal to x and this is equal to x on the right hand side, then we can rewrite the equation as 1 times 10, <laughs> 1 times 10 to the value of x, which is 3.78 in the negative fashion. And this is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the value of log to the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, so what happens now? Here on the right, on the left hand side, that stays the way it is because that's kind of the way we want it. But on the right hand side, this base and this log are going to cancel. And that's going to wind up giving you the hydrogen concentration on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you would have 1 times 10 to the negative 3.78. Now, for most uh, classes, this here would suffice. And that would be the answer that you're looking for. Sometimes professors want you to give them an exact answer. And so let's go ahead and do that. Let's kind of uh, calculate all of that. And so if we bring up our calculator here, there it is. And so what you want to do now 
is you want to bring up the uh, the value and just plug it in exactly the way you see it here at the bottom. So we're going to plug it in exactly the way we see it here. Okay. And so let's kind of bring this work over uh, to right there. And so when we do that, uh, that'll, that's going to be where our answer goes. We're going to plug it in. And so we're going to write 1 times 10. And then we're going to raise it. I'm going to, on my calculator, we're going to use the x to the n power. And so that gives me a little block up top. And then we're going to plug in the value, which is negative 3.78. And you can see that that's the way it's written, exactly the way uh, we wrote it on our documents, the way it shows up on the calculator. Press equals, and then you wind up with your answer. Okay, so in this particular case, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 0 0.0001659. Okay, so that right there would be your answer. Now, if they want you to make sure that you have significant figures factored into this, you got to make sure you take that into account, in which case the answer then becomes 1.66 times 10 to the negative 4. And that would also be the correct answer. So hopefully this was very helpful for you. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and uh, subscribe, keep watching, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.